we've got freezer friendly breakfast burritos on the menu for today and I'm so excited to share them with you. These were a request from my sister Brianna who works 12 hour shifts as an emergency room nurse. She needed make ahead breakfast ideas, ideally something healthy and filling she can quickly grab on her way out the door. I hope you love them B. I I eat my breakfast burritos with a lot of chula. They're so good. They're so good. I'm telling you, the eggs are not dry. The potatoes give it a really nice texture. The fresh scallion and fresh parsley, even though they've been in the freezer for a few days, you see how green it's like still held up. It's so good. And um, just gives you that like homemade feeling. You know, you've taken the time to make something comforting and nourishing. The 50 minutes to an hour that it takes for you to make a batch of these, Let's quickly run through what we need. Tortillas, eggs, parsley, scallions, potatoes, onion, bell pepper, extra sharp cheddar, hatch green chilies, salt, pepper, garlic powder, paprika, and cayenne, and black beans. First, preheat your oven to 425. Next, we are dicing our potatoes, peppers, and onions. You want everything mostly uniform in size, especially the potato pieces so they cook evenly. We're starting the potatoes on the stove. Here I'm using a 12 inch cast iron skillet, which I preheated over medium heat. I added a tablespoon of olive oil and sauteed the onion and bell pepper for a few minutes, just until softened. Then we add our spices, salt, garlic powder, paprika, cayenne, and black pepper. Add it to the pan, cook for another minute or two. You want to be able to smell the spices here and just cook them for a few minutes. The potatoes are now joining the party. Once you get them all in, you'll want to give the whole mixture a good toss. You might need a little extra olive oil at this point. Make sure all of the potatoes get a nice coating and then we throw it into the oven. The potatoes need around 30 to 35 minutes at 425 with one good toss halfway through. While the potatoes do their thing, we can get to work on the eggs. Generally, you want about one egg per tortilla. I threw in a couple of extra here. Now, please tell me I'm not the only one who picks out the weird bits sometimes found in eggs. Yes? Okay, moving on. To cook the eggs, I'm using a couple of tablespoons of butter and a little olive oil. Cook the eggs over medium heat, stirring constantly. Once the eggs begin to take shape, add the hatch green chilies and keep stirring. Season them with salt and pepper at some point while you're cooking them. The eggs really only need five or six minutes. Be careful not to overcook them. Next, we're grating the cheese, chopping the scallions and parsley, and rinsing and draining the black beans. I think it's really important to have a strong, sharp cheddar here. You want a cheese that can hold its own against the well-seasoned potatoes. I mean, you really want to be able to taste the cheese. All right, it's almost time to assemble. At this point, your potatoes are finished. I'm giving them one last toss here and sprinkling them with some chopped flat leaf Italian parsley. And now it's time to build the burritos. Here's the setup. We have our potatoes, tortillas, scallions and parsley, cheddar cheese, black beans, and the eggs. All of this around a space to build. 
you'll want to use a 10 or 12 inch flour tortilla here. I'm using 10 inch tortillas. I think they're the perfect size. You'll want to warm each tortilla for 15 or so seconds in the microwave. It'll make wrapping much easier. Layer the potatoes, the eggs scrambled with hatch green chilies, small handful of black beans, extra sharp cheddar, and top it all off with fresh scallions and parsley. You want them full, but not too full. To wrap, you'll want to spin the tortilla so the filling is perpendicular to you. Simply fold the bottom halfway up the top, tuck the sides in, and continue rolling and tucking. They should hold together really well like it did here. Let's try that again. Rotate the tortilla 45 degrees. Fold the bottom flap up over the filling, Tuck the sides in and roll. Continue tucking and rolling until you have a nice little burrito. As I do this, I'm also pulling down gently to try and get a tighter roll. To store, wrap each burrito in either plastic wrap or foil and place in a freezer safe Ziploc. These will last three to four months in the freezer just fine. To reheat, unwrap the burrito and microwave for one minute on the first side and another minute on the second. If you like your food really hot, add an extra 30 seconds on the second side. Top with your hot sauce of choice. I promise they taste as good as the day I made them. They're absolutely delicious. Again, they're holding, I mean, this is, this was frozen. This is microwave. It's holding together really well. You can eat this in the car on your way to work, like wherever you need to go. That's breakfast burritos um, my way. I know there's a lot of different ways, but this is how I do it. And I hope you love the recipe.